Welcome by Sonny Boy Williams from uh, called MC and I.
come back and see us when we're in town. And uh, I mean, it, it's this break couldn't have been better. I just hope it happens more often. <laughs>
나쁜 체험 
brothers, you better run. You say what you want, but still I'm done. Sounds it all happened in 61.
Highway 61, we visited. Enjoy, this one's kind of an old one. at us. Great. We're trying to give you music. You throw things. Great. Good night. Johnny Winter. See you later. Thank you. The influence of the great blues guitarist has always been evident in rock and roll. But no American artist ever combined the two more successfully than Johnny Winter. Here's another one called Lights Off, Lights Out. <laughs> it's also off the record. the 
let's go out. Don't look at me, you see the people through the window. Wait, look at me, man, you thought I was gonna see the lights out. Christmas, you know, every year for millions of years, and we're gonna do it tonight. We we'll probably record this about a 62 or 63 call. Please come home for Christmas. Bells will be ringing, the glad, glad news. Oh, what a Christmas! Please come home for 
Christmas Please come home for Christmas Yeah, now, if not for Christmas God do you say Fans and relations Some salutation Oh, sure The stars shine above Beautiful the Christmas Christmas, my dear The time of year To be
See, this is what the blues is all about, man. It's like, you know, a conversation talking to your old friends, you know. We've been friends for a long time, so this ain't gonna be no problem at all when you get up there, you know? This is uh, what makes blues different from other kinds of music. Other things, you have to plan it out and work it out. But blues, if you know how to play blues, you can play blues. We're gonna play some blues for you right now. Scott. When I first made it, it was about 1968. Uh, last of 68, actually, uh, there was a Rolling Stone article that, that came out talking about Texas musicians and how many great Texas musicians had already made it. And then uh, it went into detail about a few of us that were starving and great and had a, a really cute picture of me <laughs> and in the middle. And it was and it was a nice, it was a really nice article. And, and all of a sudden, from that one article, people that di didn't care, wouldn't talk to me the day before the article came out. Just because this one writer says, I'm great, everybody just decides, oh, he's right. And people were calling me from west, from the west coast, from the east coast, from Europe, everywhere. It was it was amazing. It's, it's a family thing with with alligator, and you feel like you're you're doing something good for music, and uh, you're accomplishing something, not just trying to to, to copy whatever is uh, is popular. And, and uh, that never interested me very much anyway. You're going well. I can talk about how, how I feel about this record for, for several hours, how great it is. For several different reasons, it captures the best of what I do, and that's several different things. It's the Texas, Louisiana style, it's the Chicago style. It's all this stuff put into a high energy background where you can't tell the difference where blues stops and rock and roll starts. It's, uh, it's a great record, it's my favorite record, and I think it will be 20 years from now. This one goes uh, from, from California, from the Sunset Strip, and uh, this one from, from Texas, obviously, and uh, Spider Webb did, uh, in New York, did these two, and, and this one, he was the first first person I'd, I'd seen Spider's books, and he he was uh, somebody that that, uh, that I respected a lot, so when when I met him, and, and he said, yeah, well, you're, you know, your skin would be perfect, tattoos would really show up good. Uh, I was over there the next day ready to check it out. And, uh, you can't say somebody would play better on drugs. Uh, I don't think anybody ever really plays better on drugs. Uh, if you're so unhappy and miserable that you can't even, that you can't make it, maybe drugs would enable you to play when you should be in a, a mental hospital. <laughs> but <laughs> except for that, man, I mean, no, it doesn't make you play better. You you got to be inside of you. Uh, at the same time that my record, Guitar Slinger, is coming out on Alligator, there was a record that I cut two years ago with a uh, veteran blues singer and harmonica player, Sonny Terry. And uh, Sonny also we had uh, Willie Dixon, who has written uh, oh, hundreds of songs for every blues player in the world, playing bass on this. And it was to me, a landmark album for Sonny because Sonny's just about ready to retire. Um, this record was uh, was kind of putting Sonny's more mellow uh, background that he's used to playing with Brownie McGee into a more Mississippi Delta and a harder a harder background. I'm very very proud of this of this record, and um, I, I hope everybody likes it as much as I do. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I really tried to listen to as many people as, as possible, and, uh, and what, uh, everything that I heard, if I if it was blues, I I bought it. I really didn't just pick one person and try to copy. Uh, there were a lot of people around around Texas, Lightning Hopkins, T-Bone Walker, and uh, didn't really appreciate them. Uh, as much until I had, had left Texas and realized how many good people there were down there. Mm, you know, anybody that, that would kind of get into blues because it was the thing to do. Um, no, that just makes me angry thinking about it anyway. It's just something I care too much about to, to, to think about people feeling that way about it. I, mean, I know that's kind of ridiculous, but uh, I can't help it. I, it. It was, you know, it seemed like a great thing for the blues in those days, but I really think that it's probably a healthier time right now. If you really love blues, you don't go on to something else. You don't stop loving it. There's a, a lot of feeling good and happy blues too. You know, it's, it's uh, something that just it makes me feel good. And if you give it half a chance, I, I can't imagine anybody listening to blues and, and really getting depressed by it. I mean, it's the whole reason for listening to it is it makes you feel better, you know, not worse. <laughs> you know, you don't just sit there and think, you know, everything is going bad. I'll sing, I'll sing the blues and feel sorry for myself. You know, it's, it's really not that way at all. Some people, I think, maybe. That, that haven't really heard it have that idea about it and it's just it's not true at all you know it's, it's a real happy feel good music you know boogie and party music I mean it, it definitely uh, uh, it's, it's just expression you know it, there, there are definitely some sad blues songs but there are just as many uh, happy blues it's mostly just emotional music just uh, living music <laughs>
troubles I had Nobody knows the troubles I had Nobody knows the troubles I had
band of bass Tell me, Johnny, tell me Tell me what to say Music and a boogie And all the other kind of things And we got the thing that Crazy, but guess you got to tell me just how to operate it. Went to a nightclub, so who's been tight? I think that was the cause for all them people starting to fight. But the long tall boogie, the long tall boogie, the long tall boogie, honey, we get to start on that. Oh, my God. 
early in the morning.